Hello, welcome back to my channel Kupuk Poso. My name is Lukman and I will share about how to learn Javanese language. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Javanese pronunciation and spelling. This video is part 2. If you would like to watch part 1, then click the link up there. Alright, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, one of the important things in learning Javanese pronunciation and spelling is learning how to pronounce letter A or how to spell sound O or sound A. In this video, I will talk about A letters that are always pronounced A. Okay, let's get started. In my previous video, I said that letter A in the syllable before last follows the pronunciation of the last syllable. One pair of words. In the word moto, to is a final open syllable. Letter A in this position, final open syllable, is pronounced O, while in the word mata, ta is a final closed syllable. Letter A in this position, final closed syllable, is pronounced A. The pronunciation of letter A in the syllable before the last follows the pronunciation of letter A of the last syllable. That's why in the first word, the syllable before last is pronounced mo because it follows the pronunciation of the last open syllable to. The letter a in the syllable before last of the second word is pronounced ma because it follows the pronunciation of the last syllable ta. So that's how it works. So the focus of how to pronounce letter a in Javanese is when that letter is in the final syllable of a word whether it is open or closed. When it's open, then A is pronounced O. Therefore, the syllable is SO. When it's closed, then it's pronounced A. Therefore, the syllable is SAR, like in the example. Now let's look at the penultimate syllable. That's the syllable before the last. Like in the first word, it's PO. So the word is POSO. And in the second word, it's pa, so the word is pasar. I already talked about this in my previous video. Now, that rule does not apply when the penultimate syllable is with R sound, because A followed by R is always pronounced R, no matter if it's final or penultimate. For example, carso, not corso, wargo, not wargo, jarwo, not jarwo, marco, not morco. Arto not orto, arco not orco, arso not orso, karyo not koryo, karwo not karwo. The next penultimate syllable with al doesn't follow the pronunciation of a in the final syllable either. For example, kalpo not kolpo, jalmo not jolmo, palwo not polwo, salyo not solyo, pragalpo not pragolpo. Alright, the next is final syllable tio or tio. There are only very limited number of words with this tio or tio, but the penultimate syllable is pronounced a. Ah. For example, tatio, matio, ratio, pandio, kantio, satio. Okay, the next important thing dealing with Javanese pronunciation is this ending, ne. This means when the word ends in a vowel, the ending is ne. And when the word ends in a consonant, the ending is a. This ending means his, her, their, or the, which is the equivalent to the nya ending in Bahasa Indonesia. Apart from the a ending, there are two more endings to remember to deal with Japanese pronunciation, and they are ku meaning my and mu meaning your. Now, the very important thing to remember is that those endings, when attached to final open syllable with O sound, they change that O sound into A. For example, suto sutane, gulo gulane, sego segamu, guno gunane, wiso wisane, tumo tumamu. Apart from changing final O into A, these endings also change the penultimate O into A. For example, nongko nangkane, polo palane, howo hawane, rondo randane, konco ancamu, boyo bayane. This linguistic feature 
the changing of O sound into A because of the endings is very often ignored among young Javanese people. Instead of saying Sekaku, they say Sekoku. Instead of saying Kanchamu, they say Konchomu. Instead of saying Rasane, they say Rosone, and so on. But it is nicer and more natural to say Sekaku, Kanchamu, Rasane, and so on. The following is an example text to give you better understanding and practice of Javanese pronunciation and spelling. This text is in Ngoko or Low Javanese. Aku tue konco, kancaku iki kepengin ketemu aku. Dwe manggon neng kutolio, kira-kira rong puluh kilo soko kutaku. Saiki aku neng warung kopi, mergo dwe tak kandani ketemu neng warung kopi iki. Karo ngenteni kancaku, aku pesen kopi. Aku kondo menyang bakule menowo. Gulane sak sendok wae, mergo aku ora seneng kopi sing legi banget. Balik menyang kancaku meneh, Wiswe banget aku ora ketemu DWE, ning aku durung lali rupane. DWE kondo wis mangkat jam 5, saiki meh jam 6. Aku ora ngerti kapan tekane ning kudune DWE wis cedak. Kancaku iki nyenengke banget. DWE dadi kancaku wiwit TK. Dadi aku lumayan kangen. Kaya ngopo rasane mengko yen weruh rupane mergo wis 15 tahun ora ketemu. Alright, it's all for now and I hope you will watch my next video about learning Japanese. If you have any questions, just write them down in the comment below. And if you think this video is interesting or useful, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.